For your soul food this week, we're talking about how a mama's work is never done. That's why I'm delegating. And also a mega food haul. And of course, we'll end with something sweet. Make a meal, clean it up, straighten it up. Make a meal, clean it up, straighten up. Do laundry, get it up, straighten up, clean up. La, 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 la. I mean, this is our life, right? As moms, it can feel like nonstop work. In a lot of ways, it is. I mean, I used to work in corporate America before I had kids, and that was nothing compared to being a stay-at-home, full-time mom. There is so much work to be done, and it never, ever ends. You never get on top of it. You know, you might for a little moment, but then the whole cycle starts up again and again and again, and it goes on to infinity. I mean, I should be getting paid half a mil, at least, for doing the stuff we do around the house, plus bonuses, plus vacation time, because it's never ending. Um, but that's why it's so important to delegate and to make it a family affair so it doesn't the burden doesn't just fall on the mother and especially with your children I think it's huge because it is our responsibility to train our children to teach them how to be you know citizens of the world and how to take care of themselves so I want my kids to be able to know how to do laundry mop a floor make a bed cut an onion um, so then when they go off to college someday you know they won't be helpless and hopeless you know and uh, and they have to contribute that's about being fair and connecting and being a member of the family body so that's what I've been doing I've been doing it for a while with Griffin because he's almost six um, but he now you know puts away the silverware every time we get it out of the dishwasher he uh, sets a table for the meals he um, waters the plants and he also straightens up after we play and that's huge he always hates doing that cleaning up his toys but I explained to him you know what mommy doesn't always like doing the dishes I don't always like cooking I don't like always like cleaning but this is something we have to do as part of the family and you played with these toys so now it's time for you to put them away before we do anything else um, so it's actually working out really well with Griffin and it builds self-esteem you know because now he knows how to cut butter and to cut cucumber and um, you know he's just learning things every day as he grows now with Paloma it's a little more challenging she's two she's also very um, strong-willed so I tend to have to use like incentives and stuff like that to get her to help around the house but she's learning and she you know sees Griffin doing it so then she wants to do it but no matter how much we get our kids involved and delegate jobs there's still just a lot of work to be done and some of it's just boring and monotonous um, that's why I love this little book called the practice of the presence of God um, this was written by brother Lawrence who was a monk several hundred years ago his books have like over a million sold um, it's just a crazy thin little book but he was such a humble man but really had a beautiful relationship with the Lord and his whole premise was he could worship or adore God and just anything that he was doing whether he was sweeping floors making beds or in church it didn't matter um, and so this book is super inspiring and it kind of can transform the way you look at your daily tasks of life I would love to hear from you now do your kids do chores what do they do how does that work in your family share with me in the comments below on the subject of kids and chores i am so passionate about it so passionate in fact that i put together a free download for you it's all about age appropriate chores for your children and it starts as early as 18 months all the way to 12 years and beyond so check it out i think you might be surprised at just how much your kids can do even at a very young age again i'll have a link to that in the video description below Speaking of chores, it would be great to have someone help me put away all of these groceries. Okay, we have family coming in for the week, so I got lots of extra treats, starting with the Simple Mills chocolate chip cookies. I'm so excited to try them. Really simple, pure ingredients. I also got this pancake and waffle mix. It's also super awesome. There's not a lot of weird flowers in it. Um, we're gonna do a bunch of beach days. So I got these um, pistachio nuts. They pack really well. Paloma loves those. I also got some oats because I'm going to make my date coconut oatmeal in the morning. And um, then I got some blue corn chips. I like these because they have sesame seeds in them. They just have a great nutty flavor. Again, we'll pack those up for the beach. And then this family, their kids love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So I got some peanut butter. I also got some different sauces for chicken, teriyaki, and barbecue. So that will be yummy. Um, I got some hummus because that packs really well for beach days. Um, also, this orange juice. This is my favorite. It has a turmeric in it as well as a probiotic. Some different yogurts, some cheeses. I'm going to do a taco night, so I got some shredded cheese for that. I also love these paleo wraps. They're basically made with coconut meat and coconut oil. Uh, we got some green beans, some beautiful flowers for their room, and um, 
some chickens. We're going to do a roasted chicken as well as, um, like I said, the barbecue and teriyaki chicken. And then just lots of fruits and veggies. These grapes pack really well for the beach. I got a ton of these organic nectarines. I'm absolutely loving them. They're so yummy. I love summer fruit and um, lots of strawberries. And then finally, I've got the rainbow of kombuchas there to enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this little dose of soul food. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. And again, share with me about how chores work in your family. I think we can learn from each other. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll catch you next week.